Hi, I'm Brian Lord, Senior Vice President here at Premier Speakers Bureau. And today we've got with us Joel Neeb, call sign Thor from Afterburner. So Joel, thanks for coming on today. My pleasure, thanks for having me, Brian. Sure, now where did Thor come from? So Thor is my nickname, that's my call sign, and uh, it's tradition in the fighter pilot community that in your first unit, they give you a nickname that you'll be known as for the rest of your career. And in terms of the origin of those, of those names, they always have a, a different type of, uh, of origin for each person. Mine was that I, as an instructor, I kind of was the hammer and the tough guy. And uh -huh. so Thor <laughs> stuck after that. Yeah. Now, do you act that way too, event planners? Absolutely not. <laughs> nope. Those days are far behind me. <laughs> now, uh, when it comes to uh, you know Afterburner, one of the things you're famous for is the flawless execution model. What's just kind of that in a nutshell? The flawless execution model in a nutshell for me is the opportunity to iterate and learn from your, le from your previous experience as quickly as possible. In other words, I want to go out, fly my mission, return, conduct a debrief, and then through that debrief, identify the way to improve. So that that we can pivot and we can adapt and make the next attempt even better. And it's through that repeated iteration of that cycle that we quickly improve faster than the rate of change, faster than the competition. Mm -hmm. Now, for you event planners, uh, something you deal with every day is something that Afterburner talks about a lot. And so talk a little bit about uh, task saturation and kind of maybe how an event planner could deal with that. Sure. In my world, task saturation is a major challenge. I mean, we're flying at Mach 2. I've got clouds out in front of me. I've got a couple of 24-year-old wingmen that I'm trying to stop from flying into mountains. And I've got 350 switches and dials in front of me as well. And I have to manage all of these inputs and figure out in this complex situation how do I distill that to the key components that I can and should affect right now? And it's that specific skill that helps us to mitigate and remove task saturation. And we do that by telling the team what to focus on, the two, three, maybe four things at any given point in time that aligns me with the rest of my wingmen to be effective and safe. And one of the things that you guys are, you guys are famous for is customization. And you know, we talk about this a lot with Premier. One of the things we always want to do is we want to make sure the event planner looks good. We make the event planner's life easier. How do you do that through customization? Customization is critical. I do not ever want to just show up and say the same thing from one client to the next. And so we lean in and we partner with the event planner as well as with the client to make sure that we have conversations that identify the key unique needs that they're facing right now. And then when we hear about those unique needs, we look into our repertoire of tools and identify which tool we should emphasize size and used to address the specific need that they've characterized. Now, uh, when you arrive on site, uh, you know, one of the things sometimes people worry about is that there's a whole lot going on with Afterburner. Right. Um, how do you kind of allay the fears of, a, of an event planner w when it comes to that? There is a lot going on. We're bringing many facilitators sometimes to the event, events in excess of a thousand people that don't just include a keynote, but could even break out into breakout groups and smaller sessions. But here's the thing, we're pros at this. This is our job. We do this all the time. The event planner can show up and have a drink of coffee while we're scrambling <laughs> around them getting this done because this is what we do the best, honestly. Yeah, great, great. So for you event planners, uh, make sure to uh, check out uh, the, the Afterburner page. There's a lot on the different speech options, the different program options there. And also make sure to subscribe to this channel uh, for more interviews. So Joel, Thor, thank you so much My for pleasure. coming on. Thanks I appreciate it. Yep.